What's up guys and we're back with some more Genshin Impact and today we're going to be checking out Mona.exe, a character that I've had since like the beginning of time and I have never built but people sh like say that she's really good. <laughs> like I believe people when they say she's really good. It's just one of those instances of where you have, oh, that's a cool character. I just never built him because I got busy building a lot of other characters. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting assets with this character, you could say. But we're about to check this video out so shout out to Roffler of course the original video will be in the description box below and if you enjoy my reaction be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're new and uh, grow the community we're going to be doing a Genshin stream on Saturday if everything goes as planned so here we are let's get into this video the next video is rated <laughs> here we go I had to hit the- I can't stop now! Oh! Oh no. my god, bro. What am I doing? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, my guy? <laughs> I love her run, though. Like her- It's like what, uh... Ayaka does. Ramona was first, though. Another one. Oh my god. at this moment that he knew he fucked up <laughs> what the hell okay waifu detect oh my god that was like complete no mercy to the eardrums wow yeah yeah you're you're really doing the damage there Ooh, that's kind of small just 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 a little bit yeah yikes <laughs> You're dodging him, but you ain't really beaming. <laughs> uh, the days when ruin guards were like the most annoying thing to deal with. Those were the days. Now we're dealing with cracked out wolves that do bleed damage, right? And some yoked freaking lizards on some steroids. Jesus. Through the power of God and anime, you shall be banished to the next dimension. We can eat there and Lumine. Okay, I don't know what anime that's from. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Oh, that's hot. Mm. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. They they made Mona so damn thick in this game. Like, and they're like, we're gonna showcase it. Like, doesn't it? Like, it makes you wonder. Like, huh? They did it with Mona, but they didn't really. I mean, there's some other characters that are thick, but no, they, they don't. They don't have characters like Mona where everything just there. Hmm. Ah, uh, the homie Etika, rest in peace, dude. It's very interesting to see, because I think this is one of, like, the first, if not the first, EXE video that they made. So, you could tell the difference with the edits and everything. You could definitely tell the difference. Jesus, bro. Because they're not, like, using the 3D models like they would. Is they're just starting off with the edits, huh? Jesus, bro. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, well, she's dead. Classic Genshin Impact. I remember the glitch where you could just keep spiraling in the air, but like flying through the sky. They're <laughs> just going to stare at each other. Oh my god! That cat went flying, dude! A 
<laughs> so this was the outro before thanks for watching subscribe to get your meme yeah shout out to roffler once again this is so weird hello weird dude seeing one of their like first videos because damn the edits are just they different they are most definitely different than what they are now you could see how they like have improved in a lot of ways and changed things up but interesting to see. I mean, it was like it was a nice little throwback at the same time to like simpler times in Genshin of when I was saying before the biggest threat was the Ruin Guard coming at you like some propellers spinning around like freaking crazy. So we we've come a long way since then, and it just I don't know. It, it's it's cool to think about, and it excites me in a way just to see where Genshin is just gonna keep evolving, you know? Because jeez, we. You know, this game's gonna be here for a hot minute. So, like, I always think to myself, a year from now, what is Genshin gonna look like, dude? Like, what type of enemies are we gonna be fighting? Right now, like I said, it's the wolves with the bleed damage and the freaking yoked up lizards. Because they're trying to get everybody out of that Zhongli shield meta or, like, just characters that have shield if you're using, like, Noel or whatever the case is. Zinyon, etc, 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 etc. Because, let's this, be honest, a lot of people that play this game, including me, we get Zhongli in there, you know, we get Noel, whatever the case is, and we just have the shield, we'd be beating the hell out of the enemy, so they're like, nah, listen, we see what you're doing, and in order to keep the game fresh, we're gonna have to force you to have healers, so that way you can deal with the bleed damage, which is why I have Kokomi. And Kokomi is good. Once again, Kokomi is good. I don't want to hear otherwise, all right, especially with that new artifact set. I don't want to hear anything else about that. But back to Mona. I'm over here reminiscing about old Genshin. Um, but yeah, back to Mona though. Maybe one day I'll build Mona. Because the only character I have built right now that's like water. Well, it's Kokomi actually and it's uh, Zinchu. I think that's how you say his name. And I have him C6. It's, you know, the four star water book character. You know, he likes reading a bunch. So yeah, him. And I'm not getting Tartaglia. Because I just, I don't know. I, I just... I don't feel the need to, honestly. I'm not I'm I'm not crazy about Tartaglia personally. So there's that. And uh, Yeah, I don't know. I feel like water characters, we don't have a lot of them, do we? We don't we don't have a water claymore user, right? Do we even have a water spear user? Huh. I don't think we do. It's the top of my head. I feel like Genshin neglects water characters a little bit, don't they? But yeah, maybe one day I'll build Mona. I just have to look at some videos again and see like if it's really worth building Mona. Because currently right now in the game, um, I'm getting ready for Yai Miko. And I am also trying to build up my Ningguang. Finally, my C6 with Ningguang. I'm finally building that up. So... That would be cool. And it's totally not just because of the new outfit or something I wouldn't have. It's because of that and the Hangout mission. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think, I think I've said enough. I mean, y'all let me know down below if it's really worth it to build Mona or if I should just, you know, say, screw it, I don't really need to do that. Um, and other than that, tell me about some of your, you know, old Genshin moments, any funny moments or stories that you guys have, too. I'd love to hear them, I honestly don't mind. But, yeah, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Discord server for the community is in the description box below, okay? So, if you'd like to join the Discord server, completely free. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading and when I'm live. That'd be awesome to do, too. And other than that, stay safe. Road to 4,000 subscribers. And, as always, don't do crack. K experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.